Well, congratulations on the CFO role. Haven't spoken to you since, uh, since you. then. How, how has it been going with the new leadership and some of the big changes at the company? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I'm following Cathy's footsteps. Cathy, I believe you know. Mm -hmm. And Cathy is, has done a wonderful job. She's a great friend and, and colleague and is uh, giving me a tremendous organization to take over. Um, I've worked closely with James for the last couple of years. And so, so far it's been, been pretty seamless. I'm looking forward to it. I know you've been hosting Wall Street analysts and investors who have changed their tune on this company and it's reflected in the stock market. What's your main message to investors as far as continuing the momentum? Well, I think first and foremost, I think we're very focused on top line growth and we see tremendous upside ahead on, on that front. You know, the beverage business is, is healthy, it's growing. We have a leadership position in many parts of the world, but in Asia, where I've just come from, for example, we have a 15% value share. So we're participating in a growing industry with a relatively small footprint in a place like Asia. And so we see enormous upside. The focus on top line growth, I mean, we've seen that in the acquisition strategy and some of the, the, the portfolio expansion into faster growing categories and brands within beverage. Should investors though be worried about that it's all coming at the expense of margins? They're not as high margin products than your original brand Coke? Uh, not, not really. I think first, first and foremost, I think what James has unleashed with his Beverages for Life strategy is a refocus inside our system on the consumer. And, and I think it's really important that we take both a short and a long-term view on the consumer. Uh, shorter term, the majority of our growth continues to come from our core business while we develop and build new categories that will be the engine of growth for the future. Um, in, in, in the early stages of a category development, the margins may be a little, um, a little less than what we're used to with our, with our core category. But we, we have um, a lot of productivity initiatives. We have, we have other levers to, uh, to mitigate against that. So not, 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 a, not a major concern. When you think of innovation, we saw a lot of the, we saw the new freestyle machine, the Dasani Pure fill the new Powerade machine to go on fields. How do you think about what the consumer wants right now and how you're going to capture that millennial consumer? I think the consumer, more than anything else, is looking for a relationship. And they're looking for a way to, for brands to feel relevant to them. So when it comes to innovation, I think the role of innovation is to find ways to make that relationship stronger and to make it authentic. Um, Vending is a, is, a, is a great example of a, uh, of a platform that, that can do that, particularly in the digital world. So a lot, lot, of, lot, of, lot of opportunity in, in that space. So the personalization theme is tied to the relationship? Very much so, very much so. And, and, and the challenge we have is to, is to personalize, but in a mass way. Um, Share a Coke is a, is a great example of, of that. In India this year, we launched Share a Coke in 23 different languages for the first time putting um, Coke in local languages on, on our packaging. And um, you know, it's, a, it's one example of how to, we can connect in a more relevant and authentic way with, with our consumers. So you obviously recently led the Asia PAC region. What do you think has been the biggest impact on Coke of the current trade fight between the US and China? So far, the, the biggest impact is just the uncertainty that it's creating uh, in the marketplace. Um, you know, we're not we're not at the at the front at the front end of the uh, of, of the of the issues at stake uh, per se. Uh, our business in China this year has been has been very strong. Uh, we see upside um, going forward, but uh, the overall uncertainty that is 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 in in play at the moment is is the major the major. You don't see any effect. signs of softening in the in the Chinese consumer. Um, I think there has been, in the last few months, there has been a, a slowdown in certain sectors, for sure. Uh, I believe the Chinese government has got a stimulus program to, uh, to generate more demand going into next year. For example, they have a, a major tax, tax cut going into effect in January. So we see a number of, of levers being utilized by the government that should offset some of the, 
uh, some of the headwinds that have been um, in play for the last few months. Do you worry at all about your relationship with your Chinese partner and the Chinese government that has, has taken decades to build? Uh, so, so far, not so much worried, but we're very focused on continuing to build and strengthen the relationship. We've been, we'll celebrate 40 years in China uh, this year. Uh, recently, we had a, an opportunity to celebrate that with our local partners. And uh, we feel good about the, the relationship, and I think they do too. We talked a little bit with James about the macroeconomic headwinds, the foreign exchange problem, and, and the stronger U.S. dollar. And that, that is one big concern that investors have going into 2019, that despite the, the growth story and the better organic revenue growth, that the strong dollar is just going to cut into profitability. How, how, what, what, how concerned should they be about that? Well, I think, I think it, it's particularly with what we've seen in the emerging markets. I think it, um, it's, it's a, it is a, a somewhat of a concern um, given the, the currency headwinds that that has created. Uh, we, we continue to um, be very focused though, on doing what we can in, in, a, in the local markets to, to sustain our top line momentum. And we believe that we can, we can manage our way through the, the choppiness that's, um, that's at play at the moment with, uh, with, with Forex. Is there a market or an area that you're particularly focused on in the new role? Um, you know, I, I don't know the United States market as well as, as well as other markets, so I'll be looking forward to learning about the United States um, in my new role and some of the European markets too, even though I am from Europe. I haven't lived or worked there for many years, so I, I think Western Europe is also an interesting an interesting set of markets to get my head around. And what is your key message to investors when it comes to the focus, you know, in the total beverage portfolio and, and the, new, the new world where the expansion into new products and innovations, when, when they ask you about how you keep the focus and the execution risk around that, what do you tell them? Uh, f I think first and foremost, in the short to medium term, the priority is to continue to drive our core business. Um, you know, refocusing on the consumer paradoxically has had a wonderful effect on our flagship brand Coca-Cola. It's uh, leading our growth equation in around the world this year. Uh, so that's first and foremost. Secondly, I think we've been a lot more disciplined about how we uh, invest and innovate in the newer categories. I think we've learned many lessons from around the world over the last number of years. And um, with some of the changes that have taken place in leadership in key positions, I think we've got the, both the capability and the focus to um, pursue those new opportunities in the right way. How big, you've been at Coca-Cola for a long time. How big of a cultural change is this? It's, uh, it's, it's pretty big. Um, you know, I think James, James walks the talk. He's, he's, he's a curious guy. You've met him. Uh, he empowers people and uh, he holds people to, to account. And, and I think that's, that's healthy um, for the majority. I think for some it's, uh, it's, it's, it's more challenging, but I think it's the right approach to take in, in the year 2018 and going forward. All right, well, we certainly appreciate meeting you and, and getting the chance to catch up. Thank, Thank you. you.